um, <laughs> sitting here shucking corn and just thinking, man, about a lot of stuff. It's going pretty good inside my head. <laughs> But, you know, I'm sitting here like putting these videos, trying to, yeah, putting these videos together. Hold on a second, I'm gonna turn that down. <coughs> you know, trying, uh, putting these videos out, trying to tell my story again, when I already put it on video with the with some of the proof backing it up. <coughs> it's like, why do I, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, why do I want to sit there and start this all over? You know, I've talked to a lot of my closest friends and family over and over and over for 10 years now about things that I've been learning along the way. And yeah, they're starting to get it now. Um, some of them, but not all of them. And, uh, but, I mean, if you want to know my story, just look at them videos I put on YouTube. Um, something like Robert West, UFO contactee or whatever, which I am. Um, I'll tell you one thing, I, I have the most amazing story I have ever heard besides uh, Billy Myers. At one time, I thought Stan Romnick, but I have a story about that. But uh, it's not what I want to talk about. But uh, I have an amazing story. I, I I'll tell you one thing: that the only thing that t I feel like that started happening with me is because my whole life. I was always, you know, I reached a point in my mid-twenties, or even early twenties, where I was just wanting to be a good person, and uh, and I was learning good things from a lot of people, and like I said, I was learning, slowly learning the truth of things along the way, not really realizing it, but I knew I was on a, I knew I was, uh, something wasn't right. But, uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> but, uh, I, uh, because I wanted to be a better person, and I was learning along the way, I mean, and I went through a lot of hell with a lot of a lot of different relationships and things, and a lot of different experiences with that, um, which I learned a lot from. I thought my life was a fucking wreck, but now, right today, I look back at it, and um, it almost seems, it very much seems like I was supposed to experience all that in order to have a better understanding to be able to help people, and I have helped some along the way. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be more in the near future uh, because things have been well underway for the last two years. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I was making a lot of choices, a lot of decisions that most people wouldn't make just to make that other, let that other person be happy. Now, I'm not going to get into all the details, but basically on those lines and and I I did I always got shit on and I never got mad about it I just sat back and observed because I was just kind of reached a point in my life where I just I, th I thought I didn't care anymore but I don't know I was just trying something different and it worked out anyway UFO stuff started happening I learned a lot of things experienced a lot of things um, way more than what I put in them videos all the way up till getting contact um, 
communication, I mean, I mean, I had contact 2011, then a little over half, half a decade later, I finally got communication with him. Um, what a story in itself. But, I mean, man, I can't make this shit up. I got other, you know, here I am shucking corn. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I gotta make a video. <laughs> Why? Because I'm crazy? <laughs> I don't think so. Crazy enough, I guess, to put myself out there. I mean, because shit, man, I was... 2011, 12, and 13, 14, 15, 15. I mean, I was being, I had helicopters within 60 feet from me. Sometimes a little further. Weapons drawn. Got hit once with a particle beam weapon, blah, blah, blah. It's all in my story. <laughs> Can't make the shit up, man. Oh, whatever, right? I learned a lot. I'm still here. Amazingly. I think it's for a reason. Anyway, uh,. I was asked to try to gain y'all's support. I found it very difficult to do it on the internet. So I reached out to people that I ran into on the streets and I reached out to people that um, were in, in my life a little here and there. but. Um, I mean, it's nine, ten years, and I mean, yeah, some of them have caught on and stuff, but there's many other things that they haven't caught on to either. Um, and yes, they have, but I mean, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I guess one thing is, one of the things would be, you know, here they know the truth and stuff, but they're still afraid to speak out. They're still afraid to tell their friends and neighbors, family. So here we sit. Here we sit a few years later after 2020 started. And I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. You know, things are going to start speeding up. We're going to see things that we have never seen here in the United States, as far as I know, well, except for the Great Reset, whatever happened there. The last Great Reset. The last Great Reset. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I just, uh, I think I'm, my stories, I already put it on the internet. It's on YouTube. There's like a, a few down on my videos on you, my YouTube channel. If you want to check them out, go ahead. I did the best I could to put these thing, these videos together. I spent hours and hours and hours doing it, and you know, just <laughs> and I, I settled with what I put because it's just so difficult for me because um, that's not my forte. I guess what I'm trying to say, guys, is uh, you all need to wake up. You all need to realize that there's a lot of people on the Internet that are putting out some very great stuff, and you really need to check them out. They know what they're talking about. Um, and you need to start taking responsibility instead of waiting for something to happen because it's already happening, and you all know it. Um, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> this last five years, I, I kind of got myself occupied doing things. I'm actually in a worse... <laughs> I actually put myself in a, a worse spot than, uh, than when I started <laughs> six years ago. But I don't know. I'll figure it out. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know what 
to tell you all. Just if you're gonna open your minds up, forget everything that you've been taught. Turn that gosh damn TV off <laughs> and and start over. I mean, this this stuff is so easy to understand, but you just gotta hear these people out. You gotta put the pieces together. <laughs> if I can do it, you guys can do it. And I know many of you have, but I kind of I'm talking to any of my friends that are listening to this. Um, but you know, people are waking up, and they know it, and that's why they're speeding things up. And all I can really say is, um, is I think we're running out of time. I mean, we're since 2000, the year 2020 started. Um, on those lines, we're going to have to let everything take its natural course. However, the sooner we can stop this, all of us together, the sooner we can find remedies to fix what they've done. Plain and simple. I mean, it's your choice. <laughs> it always has been. And I'm talking to ones that aren't awake or half awake. You just aren't saying anything to anybody else. Keeping all their truths to themselves. <laughs> need to need to start. If everyone worked together, we can make a lot more progress. And there's so few trying to share this information, sticking their necks out, losing their friends and family and things. It just it's slow going. It's tough. It's hard. It's. Um, it's uh, unnecessary. <laughs> I mean, because everything that's going on concerns us all. I mean, there's there's going to be quite a few people out there that just aren't going to get it. But I know there's quite a few of you out there that do get it. But I just want to keep this one short. I may come out with some other videos. Just know that there are UF, there are people out there, and trust me, I know this for a fact. There are people out there that care about us, that are willing to help. But you all need to wake up and realize that simple truth that we've been being lied to, and mind controlled about UFOs. It's not a laughing matter. It's always been around us. It's always been here. We just aren't looking for it, and that's why we never see it. Sometimes people do. And those actually, that's for a reason. So you can see it with your own eyes. And I know most people have at least one experience. I have run into pe pe people that have no experiences, never seen anything in their whole lives. So I get it, I understand. Um, <laughs> and then I tell them, just look up. Just keep looking up at the sky. <laughs> You'll see something eventually. Um... And none of this shit's scary. The only the scary the scary part about all, all this is the peop the human ra the majority of the human race that is so mind controlled that doesn't not want to turn the TV off and start doing and start understanding what's going on to change the path that we are all heading in. I'd like to, man, I should have been doing this for the last five years, but like I said, when I got contact, I got a little overwhelmed, especially when they asked, asked me to tr gain support. That that actually put me into overload. I'm like, what? People aren't, I mean, <laughs> people just aren't listening. Some are, and I do talk to them, and, and they have uh, come along. They even thank me for being persistent with them. And I thank them back for being uh, patient <laughs> Ugh, and understanding with me. But um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm done here. How? I might talk about some more stuff later. Um, when I think about it. But I'm gonna finish shucking this corn. 
But I don't know, trying to think about what I said. This shit's simple. Like I said, there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, but there is if we con if we continue to let this happen. We all know there's a problem. I'm in here. I got a question for you all. Uh, ones that aren't awake. Friends, if you're still listening to this. Um, how close do you think we are to them rolling out their plans? I mean, look at everything that they've created in the last couple years where we're at on the world stage with this um, uh, Af uh, Afghanistan? Well, anyway, the war that's going on. Um, <laughs> can't think of it right now. Um, Ukraine. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> they already got the wheels set in motion so, so fast. Kind of, I bet you it's making your head spin right now. <laughs> but, I bet you just don't want to think about it either. Hard to say. <laughs> well, it's really not so hard to say what's probably going to happen. I'm sure this will be a time <coughs> again <clears throat> that this place will never forget. I mean, just little old me has made a little bit of a difference with certain people. And I'm sure they helped others, too. You know, if, if we got more people involved in knowing what's going on, we could share this stuff a lot faster. A lot faster than what our controllers have going. There's some other things I was thinking about earlier, but do you think I could remember them right now? No. I mean, about the UFO stuff, I mean, you guys really need to understand one thing that I know about it. And I've seen it with my own eyes in the beginning. Learned more later. But we do absolutely have a race here that's trying to help us. But because the majority goes along with everything, there's nothing we can do. And plus they got many, most people thinking that aliens, all aliens, are demons and stuff like that, which they're not. Not all of them are. There's beings out there, like there's different races here on this planet. Actually, there's more beings out there than there are different races here, but you, you get the picture. You know what I mean. And I think that right there is probably going to take the longest for everyone to realize. I mean, it took me a few years. I was uncertain at first. No, well, wait, no, I wasn't. No, it was, uh, it was so awesome at first. That's right, I was on cloud nine. <laughs> what am I thinking? I was learning with that little inner child so fast. Hell of a story. Hell of a long, long story. But I guess like someone told me, no one will ever understand my story like I do. But 
If I can help, I'll do the best I can. Like I have been. Gonna be interesting to see what happens. I've always known that. And I've always known. Um, everything will fall into place it ain't supposed to, or should. Hopefully, can everyone that is awake. I know there is a better plan for everyone that is awake. Um, you don't know what to do when that time comes. That much I can say. For all those of you that are awake. It's not what you think though. It's a lot simpler than that. I can't tell you what it is. But you'll know when you're being presented with it. And I'm sure you all will make the same choice. Because we may not have any other choice at that time. choice it always is everything's a choice I mean, y'all should see how ser should realize, um, my friends and family, y'all should realize how serious I am. I've never shut up about it. And here I am putting myself on the internet. I mean, if I had interaction with the right person, I'm sure my information would come out a lot better, a lot smoother, more, way more understandable. But, I mean, I have to be asked, but shit, nobody wants to ask me. A few people have, and I explained everything I could, and it even took some years for them to have a better understanding. I mean, we didn't talk about it every day, but they remembered what we were talking about, thought about it, and when I'd see them again, they'd ask me, and over the years, things just fell together for them, for a better understanding. But they'd have to tell you that. I can only tell, me, tell you that they let me know they let me they told me so that I may acknowledge it <laughs> so I knew about it they thanked me <laughs> Some of them. yeah yeah interesting times I can't think of anything to say. I mean, if y'all are listening to this abroad, I'm sure y'all know a UFO person. I would hope anyway. I've heard there's thousands of us out there that have the same contact. I'm look, I've always been looking for them, but I cannot find them. We all have the same experience. 
but um, I'm sure when uh, things get rough, you may uh, you may want to go to them for answers or help or understanding. I'm obviously the one in my area. But who knows if I'll be here. It's hard to say where I'll be. I'm gonna sign off for right now.